Hey guys, what's up? This is Jordan Crook with TechCrunch, and I'm here with Adam Sager, who is the CEO and founder of Canary. Hello. Hey, love being here. What's up? Everything's great. You're like a star right now. So you, you launched on Indiegogo three days ago. Yeah. And your goal was a hundred thousand dollars. Yeah. Where are you at right now? Um, do you keep like a? You have some sort of app for it that just watch <laughs> the number go up. Like uh, I, wish, I wish I had time to do that, um, <laughs> but um, we're close to uh, I think 500 uh, k uh, wow. now. And um, we hit the 100K a uh, little bit before lunchtime on the first day. <laughs> nice. Which was, um, was an amazing, Let's crazy go to lunch. Ride. <laughs> yeah, we, I mean, yeah, it's been, uh, it's been great. It's been a, uh, such a wonderful reception. Um, so how did all of this start? I mean, wh where did the idea come from and, and what, what's going on yeah, there? Yeah, I mean, we've been working on this for the past year. Um, so just quietly, diligently working through the software, the hardware, and just putting everything together and all, all the pieces together. Um, but the idea really came from, I, I've been in this industry, security industry, for uh, the past 15 years. Um, Israel Defense Forces, uh, security uh, consulting to large companies. And um, I worked a lot as a volunteer helping places like schools and others help, help them with security. Right. And um, about a year and a half ago, I just was coming back to my place, uh, was renting, and just had this feeling of vulnerability that I didn't know what was happening in my environment while I was gone. And um, like any normal person, I, I thought, okay, I'm gonna go buy something to solve this problem. And looked around in all the common stores and realized that there's no consumer security device. There's nothing that you can just go and buy that does security. You right. have the, the DIY systems, you've got the installed systems. You know, some, there's some great products out there, but they're, they're for people that want like sensors all around their home and, and a very specific kind of solution. But what about for the rest of us? And, like there are 90 million homes that have nothing, no security, right. no connectivity, not even a connected smoke detector. Like if something, if a smoke detector goes off and you're not away from your home, you won't know about it. Wow. And so we thought this is crazy. And I knew a couple guys, Chris, uh, who is an amazing engineer, he used to build systems for the US military. And John, um, who is an amazing designer, uh, was a uh, product design lead at General Assembly. And we got together with a couple other people and just started building Canarian. It's now Canarian. Launched it, uh, decided the time was right to bring it out to the public. So um, what all can Canary do? It's got an HD camera. Yeah. All in one it has, in the one device, it's got an HD camera. Um, Microphone. A, 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 yeah, very high quality mic. Um, a temperature, humidity, air quality sensors, accelerometer, night vision, motion detection, uh, Wi-Fi connectivity, uh, and um, yeah, a couple other uh, processing uh, processors on, on the device and um, so all on one device, literally. So uh, you unpack it, you put it on your table, uh, you connect it to your cell phone and we have a 30 second setup process and then you're done. And like literally it all just streams wow. to you through the cloud to your phone. All the alerts come to you, it completely like empowers the individual to control their own security. Wow. They can do everything. You can alert the police to your phone, you can alert your network, um, you can see what's going on, and if it's on an alert, you're not going to have a call center calling you every five seconds, um, telling you, oh, your door sensor just went off, and if you're away from the home, like, what are you going to do about it? Well, now, the alerts come to you, you can see live video of what's going on, you can see recorded video of what happened for the alert, and it's all just right there in the palm of your hands. So it just simplifies the entire security experience. So it's really perfect for like a small space, small home, totally. uh, where you can kind of put it um, where it can get a, a broad range of yeah. what's going on because it can only see as far as it can see, right? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, we I thought about this in terms of uh, first renters because even though you know technically a renter could put in a security system or a DIY system, most just don't want to because of the complication of it. And you're going to leave your house anyway. Why right. do you want to put sensors everywhere? So that was you know we kept that in mind. Like, what's the simplest thing we can do. And if you live in a larger environment, you can have more than one, and they just work together. So you can place one in the front end, near the front entrance, one near the back entrance, one upstairs, you have an upstairs. So it technically could be as full featured as one yeah. of these really complicated and expensive systems if you got enough of them. Yeah, you can use. You could put one in the basement. Together. You could put one upstairs. Exactly. You could put one in the bedroom, in the bathroom, if right. you wanted to. Yeah, we've designed it now to uh, fit up to four uh, in a home environment, and. Um, we captured that uh, due to just a large amount of data that we're processing. We just wanted to make sure that the experience was always amazing for, for, uh, for the user. How do, does it filter pets? Yeah, so that's the, the other 
So the first big thing we're doing is the hardware, uh, just simplifying it. But the second big thing is that it's actually a learning system. So wow. it learns your behaviors in terms of what's normal and what's not in your home, in your, your own specific home. So if you have animals, it'll start learning that you have animals and stop alerting you every time like your dog walks in front uh, of it. If you have like someone that comes to your house as a babysitter or a helper or whatever it might be, at a certain time every day, it starts to learn that. So if you don't want it to alert you, then it'll stop alerting you every, every single time. And, and it just becomes better and better over, over time. Right. And we as a company are getting better and better over time at the right algorithms to, uh, to make sure that um, we really make the experience much better for people. Like the problem is most security systems have a really high false alarm rate. The, the stats show that it's about 99% false alarm rate. So you're getting alerts um, and they're usually nothing and you're usually away from your home so you don't know what to do with the alert. So um, we're trying to just change that uh, both by um, uh, providing less false alarms because we're learning your behavior and right. also sending it to you. So the worst thing that happens is in one second on your phone you just press clear, that's not an alert. So. Are there plans already to like, are, are you already thinking about other other possibilities for what you can add into, you know, maybe the hardware version 2.0 or maybe by leveraging the software version 2.0, maybe adding new sensors or new abilities? I feel like there's also the opportunity there to do a, a locking type situation. Well, for, for us as a company, we are thinking a lot about what software we're going to add to it. Mm -hmm. And the great thing is because it's all in the cloud, we can just update people's software for free and automatically just update their abilities. Um, of the algorithms and update uh, what, what it can do and how, how strong it is at really identifying anomalies within an environment. Uh, we are not thinking now about adding other hardware and okay. we're very focused on solving this problem, okay. which is home security and connectivity. And the way we look at it is that most people today have, don't have multiple things within their home to connect to. Like very few people actually have connected devices. And while I personally and the team personally loves connected devices, the, the vast majority of people don't have anything. So the problem is not, well, how do I connect to my refrigerator or my lights in my house necessarily? It's, well, you know, how do I do security? And I, I've been priced out of it my whole life and I, I feel vulnerable uh, for many different reasons. How do I do security in a very easy and beautiful way? That's the problem we're trying to solve. Uh, I don't know what, you know, five years on the road, 10 years on the road will take, but um, right now we're not developing other devices or other sensors that go around the home. We, it just, trying to make the experience really simple and easy for people. Are you using another company in terms of contracting out the monitoring part of it? Yeah, so that's a great question. So the monitoring is optional. Um, it'll be one of our service plans. The device, once you get the device, then the service is free after that, the basic service, which is connectivity and alerts and backups and other things. And you can watch, obviously. You can watch live video, the, the last uh, few incidents that have occurred. If you choose to record video like, and save it, all the data over a longer period of time, that's an optional service plan and one will be also a monitor, monitoring call center. And we're, um, that's on our business. So we'll be using um, a really amazing like third party call center, um, certified call centers that, uh, that can help us in that process. Um, but that, and, and again, that's totally optional to use your one center or not. Interesting. So let's talk a little bit about um, the business plan. What I mean, you're doing security completely differently. You're going to yeah. retail it out through through electronic stores, yeah. um, and you're obviously going for a much lower price point. Manufacturing in China. I mean, what 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 profit margins do you think you're going to be looking at? And coming from you yeah. know, the security industry. Sure. I mean, our profit margins uh, on the device itself in the beginning will be much slimmer than what others take. Um, we. The, the quality of video and audio and other things we're putting on in our um, our device into inside Canary is the same quality that you can find in systems today that, that cost over a thousand dollars. And the reason is we're taking less margins. And the reason we're doing that is because first we're ha there will be service plans which are optional, but we believe a lot of people will want them because they're very it can add really great value on top of the product. Right. Um, but also, we see huge value in, in getting this out to as many people as possible. Like what, what is crazy, what you know, really motivates us is that um, there are so many people that have wanted security for so long and they've just been priced out of it and it just has not been accessible to them. And if you think of, there are almost 40 million occupied like, rentals in the US alone. Right. And very few of them have any security. And I mean, 
you know, even homeowners, like the rate is like 15% of people uh, have security systems. So we, we are keeping our price point as low as possible, really to get it out there. And we also see amazing abilities to, uh, once you know, our algorithms will get better and better, the more people that are within, uh, this, within the system. And uh, so the more people we get it out to, the better it's going to be for everybody within. So, awesome. Yeah. All right. Well, congratulations Thank on you. You know, such a great start. And Thank you good so luck. much. Great being here. Thank you. All right, guys. That's it for Canary.